Welcome to this new video tutorial for the next Astral Pixel Processor version. I am Abula Haverkamp. Uh, thank you very much for watching again. If you like videos like this uh, and want to see more of them, uh, and if you want to see more and new video tutorials for the next Astral Pixel Processor versions, please like and subscribe to our channel. Um, now for this new Astropix processor version we have quite a bit of release notes, we have quite some nice improvements and some good bug fixes, but before I will dive into those, let me first show you the following. So why am I showing this now? Of course I like to shoot some nice deep sky objects myself, but now I want to make a very nice data set with some good light frames and calibration data uh, to illustrate the new Astro Pixel Processor 2 version which is coming out soon. Uh, I want to make new video tutorials. And of course, we want to do this with nice data, which we will share. So everyone will be able to download it and follow these tutorials. Uh, so uh, please keep an eye out for new versions on our website, on the downloads page. And of course, the new video tutorials, you will be able to find those on our new YouTube channel. The 
biggest change and biggest improvement in this new release is improvement in the Analyze Stars module. We have done quite a bit of work to make Analyze Stars more robust. Um, on the previous versions, some users reported that they would get very weird integration results. The results would look like this. And in this case, uh, up uh, would find hot pixels instead of stars in Analyze Stars step. Uh, and so the alignment, the registration of the images would fail because it would lock on to the hot pixels to align them. And so no alignment actually is done and you get such a result. So all data that was reported to have this issue, we've tested this and uh, it will now look like this, which is what you would expect. So Analyze Stars is now way more robust on noisy data and also way more robust on data that is either very undersampled or very oversampled. Uh, we have done a lot of testing in the past few weeks on many data sets to make sure that, that this really works much better now. Um, something to point out also for people that want to make mosaics. Uh, this change in the Analyze Stars department is also very important to get better results with mosaics because uh, one of the changes that we also make besides making this more robust is that App will also detect stars better now at the borders of your images. So if you have little overlap between images, App should be able now to find more stars in these narrow overlap areas. And that will actually make the chance of mosaics a success uh, quite a bit higher now in this app version. Uh, one example, uh, I have tested uh, this now on very complicated data. This is data from the WISE telescope. 23 panels. This is infrared data shot in outer space. And um, so previously, I could not really align this properly in AstroPixel processor. It was very hard to manage this. You can see there is very little overlap between the mosaic panels. But now in beta 35, um, we can align this, it works. So that's really great. So it really means that uh, for all you that is that are working on mosaics, uh, beta 35 really should make things quite a bit more robust in this department, which is really cool. So the next improvement in this new release is a new setting called Continue on Errors Without Warnings in the License and Settings menu. Let me show this in AstroPixel processor. So you go to the license and settings menu at the top left. And there you will find this new setting called continue on errors without warnings. This new setting was requested by several users with the following reason. Uh, up uh, will stop processing if it encounters errors on your data in Analyze Stars or registration. And App would then warn the user about these errors on the data. But some users uh, would prefer to have App simply continue processing right up until and including integration without it stopping on these errors. So if you enable this setting now, App will simply continue processing uh, and it will make an integration uh, from all the light frames that pass analyze stars and registration without any errors. The 
next release node concerns the deep sky or comet object name. In this new version, AstroPixel processor will find the, the object name in your FITS light frames if the FITS object tag is present in your frames and it will find it already when you load your images. Uh, in addition, uh, the behavior to enter this name uh, has been further improved. So uh, in both in menu one load, you can manually enter your deep sky comet object name. Uh, but we also have added this field in the integration menu just above the integrate button. So whenever you want to make multiple integrations, you can easily change the name here and then push integrate and then the integration step will not ask you again for this name. So that should improve user experience. Uh, if you load light frames, and if they have the fits object tag present uh, and the field is not filled in yet by you, uh, Apple will automatically fill in the object name for you. So that should improve user experience as well, we think. In addition, uh, we also have another good fix and improvement for everyone that has a computer with the Arabic language installed. So previously, if you would use the Arabic language with AstroPixel processor running, uh, you could not save FITS files because the FITS saver would produce an error. You can see this error in the screenshot. Uh, so Astro Pixel Processor would produce a warning saying there is an invalid FITS value. And this is because, as you can see here, uh, on an Arabic uh, computer, if App would get the time and date to be able to store that in the FITS header, uh, it could look like this with Arabic characters, and this is not allowed in FITS files. We need to have ASCII characters in there, uh, so regular alphabet characters, and uh, this issue now has been properly fixed. So this means that everything works now as expected, also on Arabic computers. This is really great. It should also mean that possibly for other languages uh, this issue could have been there and the fix that we implemented should have fixed that as well. Let me conclude now by showing you the last release notes on the forum, uh, the, the details about these bug fixes that are also in this new release, you can read all about it on the post on our forum. You see there is a, a fix for FITS files from Maxine DL and iTelescope, uh, a read write button fix is there, uh, there is a fix in the sum signal in crop worker module. Uh, we also solved the problem with the spacebar deselecting images. Well, it should not do that while entering the deep sky object name. Uh, so all details you can find on the forum. So whenever you want to read the release notes, simply go to our forum. Uh, you click on the forum. Uh, and then you go to the bottom to release information subforum. And there you can find the release notes per version. Finally, uh, let me conclude uh, this video now by showing you where you can always download the latest AstroPixel version. You simply go to downloads at the top of the page. And there you can find all download links.
for the latest version or older versions.